Good afternoon, this is Dr. Mueller. I thought I'd walk you through the uh, steps in SPSS to run your reliability testing assignment. This is our SPSS test data. We've used this before in the class. So again, start up here with Analyze and then go to um, Scale. Again, we're looking at a group of words that fit together. That's a scale. And then Reliability Analysis. Click on that. Now remember in last week's assignment, you took the 10 words that we looked at uh, in our uh, data set here. And if you remember, uh, it began with the word important and then went down to the word uh, needed. And uh, of those 10 words, you factored them into two different factors. Here's what you have to remember. You need to go back to your assignment, the factor analysis assignment. I believe most all of you have used the Veramax rotation that gave you the best fit of words in between the two factors. And first of all, move the words that fit into factor one over to items. Now, I don't remember which words you chose or which the test is, so let's just say I take these words and I'm going to take from here, I'm going to pick up from important through means a lot. That was just roughly the first five, okay? Up here in statistics, um, let's see, what do we really need to do? Um, item, scale, scale if deleted. I think that's good. Alpha. And then just hit OK for those five words. Now you'll see that the test that we get up here, and this is a pretty simple test actually. I'm just waiting for it to run. And uh, when we get up here, then we'll be able to look at what we have. So again, I like to look at this, you know, we talk about how many individuals were in our survey data. It excluded six, so maybe of these six people, uh, you know, they didn't enter uh, data against all the adjectives in question, but we had 285, six missing, that's okay. Um, in this case, look at our Chromebox Alpha of those five words. Now I've told you in this assignment, we need a .8 or better. This can be argued. Some would say 0 0.7, 0 0.8. There's, there's some discussion in research about what really is a, an effective or proper Chromebox Alpha, but in most all cases, I look for a 0.8. So I'd suggest just randomly picking five words out of that 10 adjective scale that the five I put together are probably not quite reliable and working together, 0.72. So here's what I would suggest. You go in and again, put in, first of all, put in the words that fit into factor one in your assignment for this week. Run those words together, and here's what you look for. Chromebox Alpha, and how, if you have a .8 or better on that. It's also interesting down here, if you look at item total statistics, if you go ahead and take a look at different words that you put together, if you ever come up with a test where you have a low Chromebox Alpha, you can look at what the Chromebox would be if you removed one certain word. So in this case, if we look around, I think in most cases, if we removed important, we would have a 0.63. We'd actually go down. It would be less reliable. If we remove the word interesting, we would have the, really the same. Relevant, it would go down. Exciting, it would go down and means a lot it would go down. So the, what we learn here is that of these five words working together, taking any one of these words out of that set doesn't make the Chromebox Alpha go up to make it effective. Does that make sense? So again, the point we're looking for here is to run the words in your factor, look for the Chromebox Alpha, and also I'd like to suggest that uh, you take this information and paste this into your assignment for the week. And then also in the written part of this assignment, I have posted um, the proper language that you can use. It's really a sentence, but that you understand the proper way to represent Chromebook, Chromebox Alpha. And remember, you're going to be writing about alpha, reliability testing, for two different factors. We test each factor independently. So after you test the words that fit in factor one, then go back to your test, take out those words, and put in the words that you collected in factor two and then test those words together and see if you get good reliability among that group of words. So this is one step in what we will do in our assignment and also in our final project when we finally 
uh, look for reliability among the factors we find with student loan perception. And we'll also be working with those six or eight survey questions that we want to talk about, which are the major themes of student loan perception. We'll also look at those six questions together and see if they work reliably together. Okay? So that's it for this week. Thanks a lot. And if you have any questions, please let me know.